Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play Terria series. I have been busy. Head on. I went and I uh quarantined the Crimson areas there, there, and there, and also using T Edit or T Edit. I dug some diagonal paths here and there down to see there and there and from here and here to there and there and I'm hoping that that will allow me to block off the corruption and hollow once we get the next boss defeated. Today, actually first while I was doing that, I found this extractor thing. Which allows me to use silt box. Get all kinds of nice stuff. I mean that is quite a lot of nice stuff. Diamonds, platinum. We could even upgrade our gold staff now to a diamond one <clears throat> if we wanted to. Oh yeah, we got some gold, some silver, some of the ores that we can't get in this world. Diamond, platinum, tungsten, lead, and tin. And let's see, I've also made a full set of meteor armor because I broke some more stuff and more meteors had landed. What I want to do this episode is make a slime farm because I want to make some sticky bombs, take them down to like this area and blast this whole place level. So that we can use this area to fight the next boss before we get into hard mode or to get into hard mode <clears throat> so that is what we're going to do today it's not too terribly difficult I hope it doesn't look too terribly difficult I should say first step very first step is going to be to make Some with platforms. Spawning mechanics in Terria is not not very complicated. It's actually quite a bit easier to make a mob grinder type thing in this game than it is in the Minecraft. Mobs will spawn. Let's see between. 73 tiles over to 45 no let's see that's not right yes yeah, 73 to 54 tiles over so between that range and between 45 tiles um, up or down to 33 tiles up or down but what it does is it looks at a spot anywhere in the spawning range and then if it finds one that's not solid it'll look go straight down until it hits something that is solid so that it can spawn something on top of it and different biomes and stuff have different spawn rates the highest being I think jungle normally underground jungle what are we going to do we're going to go up quite a ways and then start building a platform so I'm going to start by I guess I'll have a bit of a gap between this place and wherever we're going to set up the spawning area I'll be back when I deal uh, once I've built a ladder of sorts all right, so we are now 45 tiles above, which is 
About as high as I can jump. So we're going to go 54 tiles on either side. Which will be... Uh, the spot that we can't spawn stuff. And how we'll kill them. We'll kill them in this area. So we'll put a marker here. Then do the same on this side. Then we will go an additional 19 on either side, and this will be where they can spawn. In fact, this will be where all the spawning happens. We hope. And we may want to build a bit of a wall on either side of this. Just to make sure that they go the right direction once they spawn. I'm assuming they'll head towards me, but I don't know that for a fact. Okay, now then we're going to go another 45 up, which will be where we're going to stand. Hopefully we're not so high that harpies will spawn. So we'll stand up here. Actually, we might could just stand like right here on a platform because I don't think things will spawn uh, on platforms. Let's we'll go see. And we already have some slimes going. That's what I want to see. Now then, it's time to actually kill the stuff. Put that there. Uh. Looks like we are going to need some walls or some type. Put that there. Mm, could put something here and here. Though we won't be able to go down now, will we? Nope. So let's make this too wide here. That should work. It sounded like something just died. I suppose they fell into the lava below. Uh, we'll go like, say, one more block over. Build a bit of a wall. One high enough that they can't jump through. Now then, let's put on these, and we will make one of these things. this out with a little bit of lava. Could do one on the other side. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, it seems to be working. I'm not 100% sure, but I think maybe replacing the dirt with Stone would work even better. I would like to get some... A 
um, slime statue so I don't have to do it this way and that would be faster but I have not found any of those yet I've been looking but I have not found any I think I am going to try replacing this with stone and we'll see if that works any better or not so I uh, will be right back again okay it seems to be working better with the stone let it run for a couple of minutes and now it's getting dark already 41 gel on that side and 26 on that side fairly efficient not as good as statues but still pretty good so I'm going to let this run for a little while and when I come back I think we'll probably try upgrading some bombs and maybe go down to the underworld and see what we can do there or we will work on a sky bridge and I'm not sure which I'm going to do next yet probably need to build myself something to protect from these but yeah I'll be back in a little while Apparently there is some other things that we can do to help increase the spawn rate. One of those is these water kettles. Another one is a potion we can make from deathweed, bottled water, and vertebrate. The battle potion increases enemy spawn rate. that back and that back now then we can place one of these water candles and that will increase the spawn rate we can hold one and that will also increase the spawn rate and stack with the placed one and we can use this potion which will stack with those other two which should greatly increase the spawn rate and it certainly sounds like it is. So that'll allow me to get wherever I want to be a lot faster. And I will be back. I think I'm going to do about a whole full stack. Both tasty and flammable. Okay. I will be back. Alright, we are here. So let's see if this is going to work out how I want. Maybe, maybe not. It does seem that they will be okay in lava. And it doesn't seem like they'll break the hill brick though. Uh, let's see, let's take out this. It's like we need to mine some of this. have to do a lot of mining I guess that's fine we can use this to make special ammo level as we want. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to have to do this off camera because it's going to take a while. And I will be back once I'm ready for the next step. Okay, we have almost finished this. Building a platform above it.
trying to anyway. I keep getting interrupted. Now then, should be able to run all the way across. At least that's the plan. A couple blocks that didn't get broken. Quite a ways, I think about 1400 blocks. From end to end. To here. And why I added this is I want to use some of the spike. Spiked balls, spiky balls, to help with this boss, placing them on top of this. Otherwise, I could have just run on top of the lava. And I did get this from one of the demons. So I can do that. It does a lot of damage, but it does have that annoying thing where it. delay before between firing which makes it harder to hit things with might be good for bosses though ones that don't move around a lot does do a fair amount of damage even with the 11 percent damage it's still 34 so if we did it mythical would be 20% more than that. Close to 30% more. That'd be quite a lot. But I don't think we're going to use it for this fight. I think we're going to stick with this. And I think we're going to end this here. Next time we will probably take on the Big bad wall of flesh or whatever it's called. I've already made some flask of fire from the hellstone I've been mining. Got a fire banner. We have a hellbat banner too. We have lots of gel. Used up pretty much all of my bombs. That's all we have left. Which is why I didn't run all the way to the edge. That's what I was planning on doing. We only made it to there. It's still quite a ways. It should be enough. I hope. I really don't know. We'll find out next episode. Like if you like, subscribe if you're not. <laughs>